And welcome back to the special edition of Cover Buying Today. I'm your guest host, Ted Benito, with my special guest, Tamlin Tomita. Um, okay, Tamlin, mm -hmm. name three actors that you want to work with that you haven't had the chance to do. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wow, that's really, really tough. I mean, the first one is Gene Hackman. Oh, okay. He's really solid and awesome, and oh my God. Okay, two more. Uh, Alan Rickman. Yes. He's just super yeah, interesting. The English. Right? Eccentric, but sexy, smart, scary, he seems like a threatening. Very, he seems like a very smart actor. He's vulnerable at the same time. I think right. that's what's Brout's so interesting is he talks to you like this, <laughs> but he's opening his heart at the same time. It's like, mm. how does one do that? It's amazing. One more. And I guess I have to choose a female actress. It would probably be... It, it, everybody's favorite, Meryl, Meryl Streep. Streep. Just because it would be an Academy learning experience. Ah, not not, not well having said. to do with an Academy Award. It's, well just, said. it's just like a school of acting while I'm working okay. with her, if I ever get the lucky chance to do so. Let, let's, let's knock on wood. Three directors. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what? I just saw Boyhood last night. Uh, Richard Linklater. Oh, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Where yeah, he, okay. he, he cast a six-year-old boy and mm -hmm. for 14 year, or 13 years yeah. filmed a week you know, a week, a year, every, for 12 years. Yes. Just to have that luxury of time, just to, just to, just to, it sounds like a lazy actor, to, to film a week for 12 years uh -huh. is, is a wonderful documentarian experience. Mm -hmm. It's just the luxury of being able to do so. Um, two more directors. Two more directors. And they could be stage directors. They don't have to be film directors. Oh, but. stage directors. I'm not well versed in that. Uh, <laughs> I would have to develop musical theater talents because that's what I really want to do. Really? I would want to do a Bob Fosse musical. A oh la, my Catherine, God! A la Catherine Zeta Jones. Really? Or, you, I will try. You, know. you want me to make that happen? <laughs> I will try and make that happen, ladies and gentlemen. Or, or something like that, because it's just that would be a year of training, learning how to sing and dance, and how to perform with those, you know, that set of skills and those tools. It's completely wow. foreign to me. Completely foreign. And being, you know, Pinai, it's like I should be able to sing and dance like that, we'll right? Get, we'll get to the <laughs> Filipino ness in just a little bit. Okay, no. I want to talk about generally the entertainment landscape yeah. overall for Asian American uh, actors. In your journey, the, this journey, have you have you seen, has there been a change in opportunities for Asian M's either in front Absolutely. of or behind? Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. In all, it, writing, producing, directing, writing, acting, really? Because I think we're all, not just Asian Americans, Americans of all creeds and colors mm -hmm. are being more conscientious of the diversity and the, the landscape that is existent. Yes. And everybody okay. has to be included. It must be an inclusive industry in order to tell the stories correctly. Yes. And just to mix it up a bit because it's so exciting to see people that we see at the market, at the gas station, at school, and being seen on TV. It's like it's not just a, you know, a right. white, uh, white landscape anymore. And we're seeing stars you know, bubbling up, and we're real true fans of them, even in the sports landscape. Yay, Jeremy Lin is the Laker! <laughs> Hello! Yeah! <laughs> but uh, but you know, it, it's, 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 it has been changing. But the onus is on us as ethnic Americans because we look a certain way, yes. it behooves us to learn a little bit about where we come from. Even though I may be a fifth generation American who looks like this, I better learn what it's like to be a Japanese, a Filipina, a Chinese, a Vietnamese, a Korean, because mm -hmm. I can pass off like that. I have to be able to say, you can't do this, oh, this whole kind of thing. We have to make sure that doesn't, isn't uh, passed off again as authentic. You know, that's what it's our responsibility. Right. As African American, as Latinos, Latinas, we have to learn a little bit about where we come from because writers are gonna come in and say, oh, just put on a, right. you know, a mantilla. And then <laughs> that's Spanish. It's not Mexican or Honduran or Brazilian. Right. Uh, it's correct. like, we correct. have to be able to say, you know, let's check with that or get the resources to, to be able to say, you know, let's try to make this as good as possible, awesome. which means uh, a certain degree of authenticity. Thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you, Tamlin. We'll be right back on this special edition of Cabo Bayam Today.